Um, well, in 2003, the Kenyan government said that there was going to be free education, free primary school education. But this character, Maruge, this 84-year-old man, heard that announcement and thought that it meant that there was going to be free education for all. So he decides at 84 years old, he's never had the opportunity to learn to read and write, and he is going to turn up at primary school and um, demand his free education. Mze, they meant children, not adults. No. I heard on the radio. With my own ears, they said everybody. And I play the teacher, Jane Abinchu, who's also the headmistress of the school, who just can't find it in her heart to turn him away another time. And so she allows him into school, not really innocently, and not realizing the amount of opposition that it's going to generate in the local community, um, and also in the government. And ultimately, in order to maintain Maruge at her school, she has to risk her marriage, she has to risk her career, she has to risk her life. So it's a really inspiring story. And I think the reason why it has so much impact as well is because all of it's true. Maruge. Have a letter. What do you mean? That's why I came to the school. I must read it for myself. One of the, the things that appealed to me about getting on board with this movie was the whole way that um, Justin said that we were going to do it. Because first of all, there were only nine of us that flew in from abroad. Um, but also, he said, you know, I want you to have got your Kenyan accent all to, prepared, to have learned some key phrases in Swahili, and I'm going to introduce you to the school as a new teacher, and then I'm going to give you this classroom of 80 children to work with, ranging in age from 5 to 21, and you're going to teach them for two weeks before we even start filming, before they see a camera. And it was one of the hardest things, if not the hardest thing, I have ever Done. I would describe it as being like um, a stand-up comedian from 8.30 till 5 every day. That's what it is like, yeah. It requires that level of commitment, that le level of energy, thinking in your feet, you know, it's, it's tough up there. But I also do think it is testament to how brilliant a director Justin Chadwick is because he all the way was so supportive with all of us and with the children as well, you know, and that's why you get these really natural performances because it's like his hand is holding everything together and, you know, so everyone feels comfortable to let go and be creative and, you know, because ultimately you always feel like you're not being judged by Justin. But movies that I really yeah, like, personally. personally that I love, I love things like... I was told the other day that I should be ashamed to say it, but I'm not ashamed, which is The Sound of Music is my okay. favorite movie. I love musicals, um, and I have seen The Sound of Music like countless times. And in fact, I hear there's a sing-along that happens, I think it's once a month or once a week, and I'm going to that sing-along <laughs> because I know all the words to all the songs. So yeah, I love like, um, I'm really cheesy and I love romantic sort of, you know, um, sing-along kind of movies.